Canelo Alvarez trainer, Ray Nonso, who also happened to be Ryan Garcia trainer, he stated that he does not like the Pacquiao fight for Ryan. He prefers Javante Tank Davis. Ray Nonso stated, and I quote, I really don't like that fight. Manny Pacquiao has all that experience. It's a fight at a heavier weight against a bigger fighter. But in my role as a teacher, my job is to prepare him for these fights that he and the team accept. Yes, he does consult with me just as he does with his advisor, Valencia, and his mother and father. But he respects my opinion when it comes to that. And I give him my opinion on those fights from my perspective and my point of view as a trainer. But the final decision is made by Golden Boy Promotions by his promoter, Oscar De La Hoya. They value my input and take it into consideration. And I'm pleased with that part of it. End of the quote. Just to make it clear for the people that's not informed, Golden Boy Promotion president Eric Gomez has publicly insisted the fight with Pacquiao won't happen next. I have already made a video on that, so I'm going to leave it in the comment section below if you missed it and you want to listen to it. Nevertheless, Reynoso continued by stating, and I quote, The fight I like more is Tank Davis. To me, it's a far more interesting fight. They are at the same weight and their fight can exceed expectations. A fight between Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis can be the biggest fight in boxing. They are two of the biggest stars of this new generation. Manny Pacquiao is great, but he's part of the past generation. The young fans of Ryan Garcia and the young fans of Javante Davis are going to want to see that fight. End of the quote. Well said by Reynoso. You could also add to that my part of the equation, which is the old heads, the OGs, you name it. We all want to see Ryan Garcia versus Javante Tank Davis, not just the new generation. The past, present, and future generation want to see this fight. If you don't believe me, you can ask Mike Tyson, the baddest man on the planet, when Ryan Garcia promised him that he was going to fight Tank Davis next, Mike Tyson started dancing for Cha Cha with Ryan Garcia out of joy. Therefore, Ryan Garcia could run, but he cannot hide. Ryan Garcia could clout chase, but he can't stay on them clouds for too long because what goes up must come down. So what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you, Ryan? Now the whole world want to see you fight Tank. Your fans, your IG followers, Mike Tyson, even Canelo Alvarez trainer that happens to be Ryan Garcia own trainer. He want to see Ryan fight Javante Davis. So again, since the Manny Pacquiao fight is off the table, according to Golden Boy president Gomez, Ryan Garcia has to turn his focus back to Javante Davis. After all, the only reason According to Ryan, he backed away from Tank Davis' fight was because of the Pacquiao opportunity. Now, since the Pacquiao fight is no longer there, what is Ryan Garcia hottest excuse out of the oven to why he's not fighting Javante Davis now? That's the million dollar question that the whole world of boxing want to know. It's funny because after I dropped the video of the Pacquiao versus Ryan Garcia fight being canceled, according to Golden Boy president, Ryan felt the need to go on his Instagram live to talk to his fans, which he continued to cloud chase the Pacquiao fight after Golden Boy president announced the fight is no longer going to take place. However, Ryan was telling his fans don't believe what you hear because people are just hating since they never seen this done before. Now, first of all, you contradicting yourself and someone pointing that out, that's not hating. That's called fact check. Second of all, you telling Mike Tyson you're going to fight Tank 
Then as soon as you leave the podcast, you change your mind and break your promise. That's not hating. That's called you should live up to your own words and the empty promises you give. Third of all, if Ryan Garcia believes people are hating on him, then he must be talking about Golden Boy President that told the public the Pacquiao fight is off. It was never serious. So is Golden Boy President hating on Ryan Garcia? When Ryan says people are hating on him, maybe he's talking about his own team, Golden Boy. Maybe he's talking about his father, Henry Garcia, who told the public it was an exhibition. A few days later, Ryan want to come out and say, listen, guys, don't believe what you guys hear. It's not an exhibition. It's a real fight. Well, Ryan, you might want to talk to your own father and inform him on the facts instead of having your father misinform the public. What's crazy about this whole story is that Ryan Garcia, his father, Henry Garcia, and his own team, Golden Boy Promotion, they all seem to be on different pages in different books. But Ryan want to tell the public people are hating on him when he should be on the same page as his own team. Then you have reporters talking to Ryan, telling him, oh, people are hating on you, Ryan. What's wrong with an exhibition? What's wrong with wearing bigger gloves and bigger headgear and put diapers on while fighting Pacquiao? What's wrong with that, Ryan? People are hating on you, Ryan. Instead of asking... Ryan Garcia, the real questions. After all, a reporter's job is to ask the real questions instead of being a fanboy. No one asks these reporters to disrespect the fighter because at the end of the day, or at least the night, it takes two cojones to hop inside of the square circle. We just asking these reporters to do their job, which is why boxing have watered down. Because you have fighters that want to clout chase and troll instead of fight due to the fact they know they are surrounded by reporters that are equivalents of fanboys. So they know they're not going to get hit with no real question. Nevertheless, in this incident, instead of the reporter asking Ryan the million dollar question, which is by responding and asking... Well, Ryan, I don't think people are hating on you. I think people are just confused because your father said it was an exhibition. Then the next day, Golden Boy come out with a report claiming the Pacquiao fight is canceled. Then a day after, you come out and say the fight is a real fight, not an exhibition. Don't believe what you guys hear. However, your own team told the public the fight is canceled and it was an exhibition. So do you see the frustration of the fans? At that moment, Ryan Garcia going to realize he effed up because he had a real one in front of him and now he might stop embarrassing himself making a mockery out of boxing in the process, which then he may actually man up and fight the man he'd been clout chasing out of his name for the past year. That way, the fans are no longer confused. Ryan stops trolling and we all get the fight that we all want to see. Sounds like a happy ending, doesn't it? Even if we only accomplish one out of them three is good enough. But allowing Ryan Garcia to continue to troll the fans and the fighters is pretty pathetic to me. That's why boxing desperately needs real reporters and journalists the likes of new media. Boxing desperately needs new media because someone speaking the truth is rare nowadays. Furthermore, the fact that Ryan Garcia Trainer believes that Ryan is not ready for a 42 years old man that's coming off a two-year layoff is beyond belief. Ryan Garcia 
is entering his prom. He's about to be 23 years old. You think when Floyd Mayweather was 23, Roger Mayweather is going to tell him, you're not ready for so-and-so who's 42 years old, Floyd? It's not going to happen. We know Floyd fought the likes of Corrales around 23, 24. Truth be told, that was the best version of Mayweather, the pretty boy Floyd. However, the pretty boy Ryan, he's not ready for a 42 years old Pacquiao that's a senator and coming off a two year layoff. Therefore, I do not want to hear about this Pacquiao though. I don't care who he is. He's still 42 years old. He's old enough to be Ryan Garcia's father. But peep this. Ryan Garcia got his own kids. Ryan is not a kid. Ryan Garcia actually has kids. He's a father himself. So Pacquiao is pretty much Ryan Garcia's grandpa. Which is why it's so shocking to hear that Ryan Garcia own team don't believe he's ready to fight a guy that's old enough to be his grandpa therefore if ryan is not ready for a 21 years old devin haney if he's not ready for tank if he's not ready for a 42 years old pacquiao then who is he going to be ready for at this moment in time i wouldn't be too surprised if ryan garcia team tells ryan to put a diaper on since he's not ready for guys younger than him and even way older than him which tells you a whole lot how much ryan team actually believe in ryan because when devin was 20 years old he became a world champion putting fear in supposedly pound for pound lomachenko you had muhammad ali at 22 he shocked the world against the Mike Tyson of his time, Sonny Liston. You have David Benavidez today, who was the youngest champion of all time at 168, winning a world title at 20 years old. And the list just go on and on and on of all these young killers like Javante, who won a title at 20, 21 years old. Then Ryan has the audacity to tell the world and his Instagram followers, that's his world, that people are just hating on him because they never seen this done before. See what? Never been done before. A 22 years old fighting a 42 years old in an exhibition when both fighters are active, then backing out of the fight because we all know Pacquiao won it and he still won it till this day. I mean, I know Pacquiao want to put his hands on Ryan since Ryan cost him the WBA super title at 147. So we know it's Ryan who walked out of the fight. But I'm going to tell you what Ryan is doing that's never been done before. i never seen a fighter wear someone else's belt then say, well, belts don't matter. Then why are you wearing the belt? Take it off. If belts don't matter. But Ryan want to be so bad like Devin Haney. However, he does not want to fight the champion Devin Haney. Even though he want to claim he's a champion. Without wanting to fight the champion as a mandatory. You literally can't make this up. That's why I always say... They making a mockery out of boxing at this day and time. Furthermore, let's put things in perspective. Like I said before, Ryan Garcia used Gervonta Tank Davis name to clout chase out of his name and get away from a Devin Haney fight since he's Devin Haney mandatory. Then Ryan used Pacquiao name to avoid a Javante Tank Davis fight while saving face in the process. And now, Golden Boy Promotion said, Ryan is not fighting Pacquiao. They looking to fight Teofimo. 
However, Teofimo just announced he fighting Composis. So we know that's not true. But peep game, they want to use Teofimo name to justify walking away from a Pacquiao fight. Then most likely Ryan will end up fighting not Devin Haney nor Javante Davis, but either Linares or Fortuna. While clout chasing out of everyone's name in the process. But like I said before, just like all money is not good money, all publicity is not good publicity. And Ryan is dragging his reputation through the mud. One thing for sure, he is not the next Oscar De La Hoya because Oscar De La Hoya for everybody. Two things for certain, he's definitely the next version of Canelo Alvarez. And he's following that Canelo blueprint to a T. And last but not least, we have Ryan and Tio breaking their promises to Mike Tyson, the baddest man on the planet. I mean, Ryan talking about people are hating on him. Is Mike Tyson hating on you, Ryan? I really want to know. You got Tio on the other hand. Devin Haney said he's undisputed. A few days later, Tio Fimo posts a video himself asking someone, pass me my crown, and they throw him a duck in which Tio embraces it. As if he's saying, yeah, I'm the king of the ducks. As long as I don't fight Devin, it is what it is. It's all about that NBF takeover. I'm telling you guys, that NBF is real. With that being stated, drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe below and click on the notification bell to get notified every time I post or go live on Split Decision. is a boxing debate slash talk show mixed master engineer produced by yours truly, Aki. And to be continued on the next episode of Aki, Aki, Ak TV. Peace and we out here. You five five, you gonna need a ladder to hit me. You're gonna need a stairmaster. Boy, you won't be able to touch me. You ain't never fought a 135 in your life. Just different. Just I don't care what you say. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Boy, I don't care. You too ugly to be I'm fucking care. And that's what I'm gonna leave. Boy, I'm pretty. You ain't never seen nothing like me, I promise you. You go, you can go down. You see me with the bow tie, man. Two rails is all gonna take. I pray you can talk to Mike. Have a good time with Mike. Yeah, shit, man. Oh, don't worry. You can. Hey, yeah, uh, hit me with that shot. You're gonna need a stairmaster, boy. Yes. Hey, keyword. Oh. Keyword. Woulda. If. I, if. Can your next fight be with this nigga, man? What? <laughs> nigga, we on worldwide television. Can you fight this nigga talking mad shit, man? <laughs> Let's go! Oh, Let's go! Hey, sign in a thousand. Hey, look at me. I'm dancing. I'm happy. Look, at, I, I, I'm dancing bachata on you. I'm dancing bachata on you. Hey! Hey! Oh. Hey! Oh. I'm happy. Let's go. Oh. Let's get it on, baby. Let's get it on. Yeah. Hey, man, you got to do something, man. You got to let him talk to the next fight. You got to let the next talk this shit. Look at him, man. Woo! Woo! Let's go, Jay. Let's go. Woo! Bang, there he goes. He's out. Who do you guys want? Which one? We want Tank! We want Tank! You hear this? Let's go! Let's go! Tank, I'm gonna say it in front of Mike and Jeremy. If you do not take this fight, your legacy is forever tainted. Nobody. I mean, God, nobody oh will ever remember your name. <laughs> nobody. The money's there. I know you love money, God, but money's there. Damn. If you don't take the fight next, your whole legacy forever is tainted if you don't take the next fight oh with me. Oh, my God. God damn, Tang. I ain't never heard no shit like this. If anybody I could get in the ring with before I go is Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, and just to be in the ring with them, I wouldn't even... You hear me talking like what I talk with Tank? I, I couldn't even do that with Manny. I just... Let's fight. Because dig. you know that's Manny's spirit. But Dig, this is the thing about fighting. You know what your job is in fighting when you're a professional fighter? To beat your hero. Mm. You just put it out there. I think Manny heard you. I think he'd be honored to get in the ring with you. You have to beat your hero.